Now, the other tune, if we choose chambers, which had to do with the fact that it was an election year, the, the doc had died a couple of years, uh, the year before, Chambers had taken over as the, the new Prime Minister, and you were giving him your feelings. Yeah, I tell him an open word to you. I know your job hard, but always remember. You know what I mean? Come down and meet the poor and the humble. Keep them in sight any time they grumble. And take up your role as a disciplinarian. And use the sword on the evil called corruption. And if you're true, I would follow you. An open word to our Prime Minister. Your job is hard, but I want you to remember. Come down from your height, me the poor, me the humble. Keep them in sight anytime they may grumble. Take up your role as disciplinarian and use the sword on the evil called corruption. If you're true, we go follow you. Chambers, if you're true, we go follow you. Georgie, if you're true, we go love you too. Okay, so the following year, back in the Savannah again. Tell us about 1983. Well, it was another one of those years again where we had the heroes. I had the heroes. They don't treat a hero the way we treat a hero. Because I look around and notice that Trinidadians never really emulated heroes. And there, there's a, in a lot of cases where I listen to people trying to pull them down. And I was just talking to those people and telling them, that you don't treat a hero like that. Because I was in St. Thomas a year and I saw Emil Griffith came back to St. Thomas. And he was a beaten boxer. He was a guy who was a turned alcoholic. But yet still I could have seen the whole nation coming out in a motorcade for Emil Griffith. I think this is the attitude that we Trinidadians should adopt to our heroes. What is most significant about the sentiments that you expressed in that song is that there were in fact people trying to pull you down that same year by alluding to the fact that there was a similarity in the melody of your calypso to a pop song. However, the public loved the calypso. I think this is what was important. And if, we, if I remember the semi-finals, because that was a true test when you went south. Yeah, there were a lot of people within the Calypso arena who, who, who said that the song had a melody like unto a, a, a pop song, which really there is a similarity. But I, 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 I think to myself that those people were really not looking into what I was trying to say and trying to get across. I was just trying to look at something to retard the progress of the message. But the, the whole thing, the public didn't really take them on. They were on the tune because um, I remember when I was about to go on stage in the semifinals, I was told by one of the CDC officials, um, explainer, we love you, but um, you will hinder your chances because you're going to lose points for melody, which was quite true. But I tell them, I'll risk it. I'll risk the melody and the chance of winning for the chance of getting this message over. Oh, 
Shunchi dagi o so. No, no, no. No, no, no. We shunchi dagi o so. No, no, no. No, no, no. We shunchi dagi o so. Now let's talk about the other tune, the Rasta Chick. I think that's the official name of it. Well, it is similar to um, Enough Respect and what we call Topic Wise, that was sung by David Rudder. Well, uh, it was really telling you about a man meeting a woman in a party and want to make a move. And his move is trying to get to dance with her and trying to... And she was saying, listen, don't touch me, she was a Rasta. A man tried to touch her here, your hand too fast. Leave me rest. She wanted you to respect her as a black woman. You understand? And if you do have to make a move, make a respectable one. Looking tight, dressed in khaki and she looked swanky. I decided, well, I must run to she. I said, Greetings. She said, Hey, Lyria, let's burn something. She told me, One love, I so got jamming. But uh, we are yet, then I made a mistake, cause she lost. Now, I want to ask a question because I think to a lot of people who always saw you as one of the big guns of the late 70s and the early 80s, when they look at the period between 84 and 90, they said, well, something is happening to explain why he's not in the limelight anymore. Can you shed some light in that area? Alvin, it's simply this. It comes with like American music. You hear of Michael Jackson for a period of time and years after you don't hear about them. Lionel Richie, Tom Jones, these guys are still active. They're still performing. We may not know about them, but they may not be putting out records that may probably, they put on records sometimes and they don't make the type of hit that they, they used to before. Life is a roller coaster. Nobody stays on top forever. And there's gonna be other people who coming around and create an interest and they become unique to the public because they're new and the people find interest in them. It's not because that you're not good anymore, but we find someone who's young, bright, new, and interesting. And we center ourselves towards them. That creates the role of Costa in life and show business. But explain it here. And he's still composing. Mm -hmm. He's still recording. Every year, I've never stopped recording. And my music is there. That, that's a fact. You've never stopped recording. There's always an explainer LP out there. Yeah. One of the tunes that didn't do quite well during the carnival season, but suddenly picked up during the week of carnival and was a big tune for you that year was his horse, for example. Definitely. Still played every derby day. The week before derby day, there's a certain amount of enthusiasm with horse. So they get that calypso to, to align with the horse situation, which is one of my hobbies. Money was 
racing in English racing. Buying books from Great in London. Checking the horse information. He know he's caught on who is Philly. Who are we the Oaks and Willie Dabby? This English racing have him like a fool. Should we all be bread in the pool? But Monday morning. The other tune that stands out in my mind in the period which people might think of as, as a slump is 1989, a calypso called Kaiso. A calypso which won you a 1989 top 20 award from NJAC. I think After Lorraine is one of the songs that touches me most when I perform them. It tells about the life of the calypso then. And the amount he puts out and the very little rewards he get. It may not seem so to most people, but we rarely, rarely live a hard, hard life as a hard struggle keeping this business alive. Yes, it's the greatest honor just to be a Calypsonian. But let me tell you, brother, the pressure that we does endure. We got to pass we went daily to make a melody, to keep people dancing and happy. People of my nation, there's a competition. Keep the guy so man in a state of depression. I so, whoa, 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 I so. One man enjoys success and you hardly get more the rest. Guy so, whoa, 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 I so, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's too much demand on the Calypsonian but For the love of the culture, I enjoy this big master. Climbing on me and sapping the energy. It's hard, I tell you it's hard. I think if you had to describe the explainer, the messenger, you'd have to call you the uncrowned king. That was probably the most fitting title that you, you won well, or shared. Well, I thank you very much because um, I will accept that title because I think every man is a king in his own right, regardless of what he's doing. And whether he's crowned or he's dubbed or whatever, but I really appreciate that title, the uncrowned king. And explainer, I want to thank you for making the show such an interesting one. I want to wish you all the best for 19, the rest of 92 and thank, for nineteen. I want to thank you too and your crew for, doing, for this wonderful effort. And keep it coming. Don't sit on the sofa. Thank you. All the best to you, Alvin. And the crew. Have a pleasant night. Be viewing next week on Calypso Showcase. If you think about people and some things they like to say, you might end up in big trouble and will never ever reach your way. But if you keep on pushing, you might hear talks of every kind. But the sky is your limit, friend. Then no talk can blow your mind. Well, they say, they say, do things your way. Act like you ain't here. Make your conscience clear. Well, they say, they say, tell them blow away. Regardless what you do, they will still upon you. Frustration, killing me, and 
corruption is the style in this country. No place to live, no alternative. And still my country have but one thing to give. His promises from the past decade. And the politicians appear like a masquerade. The country sick, the country sick. They better try and do something quick. Because I can Sends up a reaction 